Hi guys, uh, uh, my name is Wasim, I had, uh, and I had a question for you. So why do you think I only have one minute today to pitch my idea? So you know why? Because this world is on fire. We always want faster stuff, we always want faster internet, we, we always want faster services. So if you are the kind of person who believes uh, um, in, in the importance of the, the accessibility of the information, Online, we have a thing for you. It, uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce you uh, my idea, which is called uh, Marquee, uh, which is a web application that will help you set, uh, uh, gather up and synchronize all uh, your internet, uh, internet best uh, links in, uh, in one uh, interface. You will keep track uh, with uh, all your uh, internet best uh, favorite links and uh, you won't lose any, any article or any video. Thank you so much. Hi there. You know, the food you eat every day and the beauty products you, eat, you use every day might be you and your family. Cancer or serious disease. My name is Shen. Before I came to here, I was doing the startup which is distribute the organic food in Taiwan with my partner. And because I believe more and more people will start to care their health, care about their food. And this is the this is the, this is our uh, part to, to solve this question. We are going to build a application which can scan a barcode and the application will tell you if the product has malicious ingredients. So I need uh, the accounting, the marketing, the design. Thank you very much. People who can think about this problem together. Yes, these people I need it. Thank you. Hey everybody, my name is Fernando Lima, I'm a student at Fresno State, uh, major in business finance. And I absolutely hate having to wait to be seated at a restaurant. Uh, we've all been there, that overcrowded entrance. 
uh, that blinking pager thing we all received, that vibrates so we can finally take our seats. Now, um, imagine now a mobile app where we could locate nearby restaurants, we could order our food online, and we could indicate or estimate our arrival time. So we could significantly reduce our wait time at a restaurant. Uh, now, uh, restaurants would be uh, responsible for monitoring the flow of customers and consumers. Us, we would have to uh, pay for the food ahead of time, so this would assure the business, or assure the restaurants of our business. Uh, but why limit ourselves to just uh, restaurants? We do grocery shopping. Um, uh, have a ton more information, but not enough time. Any developers, designers, uh, people who are business savvy, uh, to, and uh, that's it. <laughs> Here's pitch number 16. All right, so the question I have for all of you is, how many of you have had the, the point in time where your uh, finals or whatever points during your semester or school or any type of activity you need to meet somewhere? I said, the library is closed. What do you do? So, wouldn't it be nice? There was an app that listed the places where you could go to work and study or whatever activity you needed to do. That is the idea behind Poppy Dojo. So I couldn't really come up with a, just threw together a name for it, but it's the idea that it lists all the places that are coffee shops or whatever center that has a space where you can study or work and do activities that you would normally do in a library or some other studying location or, or institution, but this is businesses that, that it's supporting. So it's finding an app that lists where you can go when you need to meet someone. And that's Poppy Dojo. I'm Paul Fuller. I was a past winner last year. My project was Astropreneur, a space exploration game. And uh, if you have any questions, find me. Go to Poppy Dojo. I voted. We're like one person because we're married. <laughs> Are we going? Okay. Hi, I'm Molly, and this is Carlos. And I work here at CSUMB in student affairs, and I have over 15 years of educational experience as an academic advisor, and Carlos works for the DoD, he's a developer. And combined, we um, have decided to put forth an idea around education, education apps we really need it out there. We want to build an app that could be a virtual writing center, like a one-stop shop for writing. Fourth graders need help doing their book reports, adults need help writing their business plans. There's a lot of books out there. There is not a lot of virtual apps that help actually develop a project through like a natural language processor where you can input your information and then pull out your real key thoughts and ask the specific questions that an academic advisor would actually ask you. We're looking for our front end developers. We're looking for educational marketing. Data security of open source uh, database of DNA sequences. 
And that's why I need people to help me build the cyber security first startups in Biosec. And uh, especially need people that know about business uh, marketing and people that are interested in information security. Thanks. Thanks so much, Hi, so my, my name is Ben Chamla and I'm going to talk about food right now because I'm a student and so I'm eating toast and like shitty food. And <laughs> next door, maybe there is a great mother that do a lot of food and like, you know, force the great children to eat. So the idea is to have an app where like, where you have scarcity of food in your house like you're a student, you can go on that app and there are people that go to that app as a cooker, like a great mother, and like they propose to or invite you at their house for money, or you come pick the food, or they deliver. Like, you choose, like, it depends how the grandmother wants to do the stuff. So basically, you, you, it's just like a link, like you get, you, you, <laughs> so you, get, you, you get on your app, you choose what kind of food, and then after like we can see how we want to do it like we can do it like as dinner you know like you see the dish and you say yes no yes no that would be cool and that's it i just need like people to develop that with me
Good evening, everybody. My name is Nathan Pierce. I previously managed a million dollar grant program locally here in the Monterey area. I quit last April in search of good beer. There's not enough beer in Monterey. We have like three breweries. Craft Beer is Bobby. Santa Cruz has tons of breweries. San Luis Obispo has tons of breweries. Here in the middle, it's lacking. I need help. I need somebody who can do sales. I know somebody, I need somebody who can do customer validation, help me with marketing. And we are here to do that this weekend. Nathan Pierce, Marina Brewing is the working title. Come up with a better name. Don't see that every day at the start of weekend. Oh, uh, to be honest, I'm a bit nervous right now. But uh, what I want to pitch is uh, a downtown Monterey hackerspace, because what we're missing right now um, is we have hackerspaces in San Luis Obispo and we have them up in uh, San Jose. And what I'd like to do is uh, downtown, which is near high school. I'd like to have a hackerspace over there, and uh, so we can have the watching people build things on the bike and start a hackerspace. Uh, skills I need. I need a graphic designer and um, a developer. Uh, I know a couple things. I manage a robotics team that started up at Winter High, and uh, so I'm, I'm covering that. And uh, yeah, I just need developers and graphic designers. So I'll take a deep breath. So my name is Pat Star. I've been a yoga teacher and a wellness instructor for 20 years. We know that there's a problem. The problem is that we're not moving, we're not exercising. That problem translates into a, a lower happiness quotient. That problem turns into um, shorter lives and uh, lost profits for employers. My idea is that I want to start watching the wellness uh, to help employers create on-site opportunities for, e for exercise. We'll sample the employees, see what they're interested in. Um, and then we'll offer classes like in cessation of smoking, yoga, tai chi, nutrition, whatever the employees are interested in and what fits the employer's uh, bottom line and budget. Um, it's been implemented in a number of companies. Most Fortune 500 companies offer this as well as on-site massage and uh, these kinds of exercise classes. Um, it, include, it makes a healthier bottom line for employers and healthier employees. And what I need is marketing uh, financial. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is me selling for time as they finish their poster. You know you want a bitch. You can do it. Just come get in line. You can do it. I'm very impressed with how many women have pitched tonight. It's actually much more than added at all the start of the weekend event. So here's to the ladies. Yay! Because we know women rule, right? At least they cook. <laughs> so my name is Judy Julius. I'm a life Extend ex extension specialist. I'm a Hartnell College student on my target for the CSU MBA project. So, I need a mobile app developer, a tech project manager. I also need one to two user group drive people that will help me to drive the requirements needed to build this app. I made a circle and circled a whole bunch of the people that have already been up here. And I'm telling you, if you don't get picked, come and be on my team. I already counted 15 ideas that will work with Calm Campus App. What Campus App does is, as a student, it helps me to find my car. Helps me to find a parking spot. Helps me find good cheap food. Also helps me find that grandma that's cooking in the, the neighborhood who's got plenty of places and loves to feed kids, right? It helps me as a student find a place to live. Helps me get a ride to my job. Helps me get everything I need, including cheap books. So how long has it been since you had a two, three hundred dollar book you couldn't sell? How many people have two, three hundred dollar book you can't sell? Okay, you'll use my app, right? Now, the 
want something. Yeah. Um, uh, wasn't that awesome and enthusiastic? Does anyone else seriously want to go? Okay. So we have, what, 30, what, 31 pitches? That's awesome. 33? 30? 30. Okay, wow. Still, 30 is really impressive. Um, I have no idea how you guys are going to decide amongst them. Um, so here's how this process works. I hope you took really great notes. Um, we have 30 great ideas, and they are all...